Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. For today's spotlight we've got two more mods, Immersive Armors and Elaborate Textiles. First up is Immersive Armors by Hoth Trooper 44 The Immersive Armors mod aims to bring together all of Hoth Trooper's work, which includes some great armors like the War Chief and Vagabond armors, and some of his weapons, which include some of his recently made axe staffs. Also included in the mod are the armors that are included in the Law Friendly Armor Pack by Ramen530. The best thing about this mod is that all of the new armors and weapons have been added to loot lists, and all of the items have been scaled, so you have something from the very beginning all the way into the higher levels of the game. Right now the mod has 17 new sets of armors and 6 new weapons added, but we're sure Hoth Trooper will constantly update and improve the mod to add his future creations. As well as being added to loot lists, the items can all be crafted using lore friendly materials, and all require different smithing perks so you'll slowly unlock them as you progress through the game. This mod brings together some of the most well made armors and weapons that have been made for Skyrim, and adds them all in a way that never ruins the immersion of the game, so for us this is definitely one of the best mods that's ever been released. Hearth Trooper is trying to get mod of the month with this one, so don't forget to show your support by voting over on Nexus. It's simple to do and this mod definitely deserves all of the support it can get. And for today's second mod we have elaborate textiles. The mod retextures a whole bunch of different clothing items in Skyrim worn by NPCs. The creator wanted to brighten things up a bit and add a bit more flair to what the NPCs were wearing, so now Nobleman will be flaunting the finest of fabrics that Skyrim has to offer. Over 50 pieces have been retextured in total and we couldn't find a single one that looked out of place. All of them are extremely detailed and the maker has clearly put a lot of time and effort into the pieces. Not all of the retextures are entirely law friendly, but if you enjoy a particular piece or a variety of pieces, then you can easily just install the ones you like and still appreciate the maker's work. The creator is also taking requests, so if you'd like her to retexture something she hasn't, then you can let her know in the comment section on Nexus. And as always, if you enjoyed this or the other mod in today's show, then click the endorse or favourite buttons to show the creators you enjoyed them. The mod of the month voting button can also be found to the right of the endorse button, so remember to give that a click too. We'll see you on Thursday for another spotlight, and thanks for watching.